Hi, my name is Tom Love, and I want to share with you over the next couple of minutes my rant about how diversification will cost the average taxpayer about a quarter of a million dollars. You know, we all hear the word diversification, and yes, that makes sense. We want some investments when the market goes up, performs well, and when the market goes down, could balance some of the losses by having a diversified portfolio. Let me share with you my opinion. Diversification meaning to me multiple forms of 1099s where at the end of the year I have income from all of the investments, these pockets and buckets of money that I have, which will produce taxable events because I have some aggressive, some conservative, some investments in limited partnerships, for example, but all will produce some form of tax forms which have to be filed with the Internal Revenue. Diversification from all of these sources could cost the average taxpayer hundreds of thousands of dollars. Let me explain. This is not usually talked about when you hear financial advice given by those registered reps around the country. When I take a distribution, yes, I understand that's going to be subject to some form of taxation, whether it be long-term capital gain taxes or income taxes. I will owe something on positive distributions from any investment. But because of that, there's a rippling effect. And the rippling effect could mean 85% of my social security would not be subject to an income tax. Well, if the husband and wife or the partners are making $2,000 a month in retirement from social security, $48,000 a year total, and 85% of that is now subject to income taxation, I'm assuming a 28% combined federal, state, local tax bracket, I'm going to be giving back about $12,000 a year of my social security money. Now that times 26 years of retirement, which is to life expectancy, 62 to mortality, that's $270,000 of lost income because social security money will be asked for back. The investments we understand are gonna produce taxable events, I get that. But because of the income tax that's gonna be due on that, another rippling effect. I'll owe more for Medicare. I'll have to give back some of my social security money and all because of diversification. If you really wanna understand the impact about how wealth works on the distribution phase, make sure you reach out to us. Again, Tom Love, the founder of the Breakaway League. Make sure you follow us, subscribe at all of our social media contacts. Talk to you soon.